Hey there everyone, Hatayish here and welcome to the MongoDB series. I hope you have subscribed to the channel. If you're watching this entire series without being subscribed on my channel, that's bad, man. That feels bad. So please don't do that. Okay, now let's move forward. In the previous video, we saw that how we can put up objects inside a, a database or a, a simple entry in the database. And we did this with the profile pic. Now, I want to do further more. Remember a uh, video from the last to last, we talked about how we can have two further things like key can have a value, key can have an object, and key can also have an array. Just like we looked in the Open Weather Map API, uh, we're gonna trying to replicate some of that. So what I really want to do is a fictitious situation where we track down that uh, user's last login and from what other devices it's being logged on. So there are two situations. And let's just say user first logs in with uh, Firefox, then a Chrome, uh, then a mobile OS, uh, and uh, also user logged on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So there are two situations in front of us. One I'm going to be doing, uh, the next one you will be doing it. So obviously the goal is really simple. I want to add an entry. Previously we used insert many. Now we're going to use insert one. I want to only insert in the, I, I will insert in the mark. You're going to be inserting in the Hitesh, uh database here. Not database actually, uh, entry in the database, the document here. So let's just go ahead and do that. And the goal is really simple. We don't want to insert an object. Rather, we want to insert an array. It's almost exactly same replica kind of for the previous video. So we're going to hit control L. And uh, in case uh, you remember how we did that, first of all, let's find and pretty that. So we know that I'm going to be selecting for the name and mark. So this is what exactly I'll be doing it. So I'm going to be saying uh, DB dot student data. And I want to find something. Now, I don't want to directly find. I just want to update. And this time, I don't want to use update many. I'm going to be using update one. There we go. Now this update one needs two pair of uh, two objects. The first one is going to be criteria on which you want to select uh, select your document. So I'm going to be saying name and my name is Mark. You will be working on the Hitesh document. Okay, uh, sounds like a plan. And the second one is here. Now again, watch very closely because it is almost exactly same as what we did in the previous one, but these pair of curly braces can make anybody confused. It's totally okay, totally fine if you find it lost. Just make sure you follow my path. So first, we have got this curly braces. Now obviously, we need a dollar set, an atomic operator. Now this dollar set also expect you to pass on a value, which is an object. Now surely, just like we did in the past one, we can simply say last, uh, login and we can set a value for that simply like a pair of string and we can call it as Monday that is also fine but just like what we did that its value can be anything it can be a string it can be simply something a number like three and it can also be an object and similar to that it can also be an array now array is array and you can just put anything inside that. You can put a series of objects just like that. So there are two objects inside the array. That is also totally valid. Actually, this is exactly what is happening in the open weather API, but we're gonna pass on a little bit trick. We are gonna pass on a array of strings. So we're gonna say a string, then a string and the three. So we're gonna just pass on three values. So I'm gonna say Monday, the second one is going to be Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, day, there we go. And the final one is going to be Wednesday. And uh, I need to learn Wednesday. There we go. Now it's correct. So make sure you understand what we are writing. Don't get confused with the curly braces and square brackets and all of that. If you're going to be just following the base core architecture of writing these queries, then it's going to be all okay. So we're going to hit enter and hopefully everything is going to be working fine. I don't expect that it's going to be running up just like that because I expect that sometime I make mistakes, maybe missing a parenthesis or something like that. In this case, however, we got an acknowledged true. So that is fine. I didn't miss any pair of parentheses or brackets. That's fine. Now I want to find all of that and I want to hit the pretty on that. So db.studentdata.find.pretty. We're going to see that. And you can see that in the mark. Now we have a profile pic. Obviously we had that previously as well. But we also have a last login, which is a key. 
and its value is an array. Now inside that array, we have got three values, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, as we have expected. Now the question comes up is how we can access that value. That is a little bit tricky. So in the previous one, we saw that we can just find it based on these drilling down of the things. Now, obviously this drilling down of the things is not gonna be working because it's an array and array, you cannot access these array using uh, these dot notation. In fact, you have to use the square brackets and their positions like zero, one, two, and all of that. But rather I'll show you a easier way of doing that. So instead of doing that, I want to access what is there inside uh, the days here or the last login here. So I'm gonna just prefy that one more time. So I just want to have a last login. Okay, now I remember that. So how we're gonna modify that. We are gonna be using this same thing. And I'm gonna just remove all of that. I'm gonna say, I want to look into a database entry in which there is a name Mark. And this is going to return me everything inside it, obviously, but I'm not interested in everything. I'm just in interested in one entry only, which is uh, this last login. So once you have got the entire access of this, uh, you can further chain it down to something like, which is last login. So this is last login, yep. And we can hit enter. And I, I forgot to print that. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use, not the find, but actually find one, hit that and there we go. Now it doesn't work on the find because simply uh, it doesn't really uh, use this kind of a dot notation further on the find. It's in the documentation. We don't need to worry much about that. Whenever we want to find certain things just like that, we have to use the find one, okay? I hope that clears up everything. So whenever you need to access an object, we just use inside this find and we just drill it down using the dot notation. Whenever you need to access an array, uh, a key value pair whose value is an array, then we use find one and we use this kind of notation. But again, there are hundreds of other ways of accessing these data and we can modify that. We can use for each and there are a lot of things we are, we are gonna be seeing in the future as well. But this wraps up our part as now we know quite a lot about the structure of the data that we can put a key value pair, we can find them, we can update them, delete them, uh, can modify the structure as well keys, values, keys and objects, keys and arrays. And probably, you know, if any other data structure you want to insert it, it should be pretty easy and pretty amazing stuff. Okay, so let's just wrap this video up here. And I hope you're enjoying the series, you know, comments and subscribe, we already know that. So that's it for this video. And let's catch up in the next one.